addressing the elderly residents at the rehabilitation center. Malema said senior citizens have paved the way for many as they endured hardships from the past. He added that the present challenges creeping the country are negatively affecting the elderly, including what he says is poor leadership in communities, having a direct impact on how places like hospices offer services. When you said you are available for these things, those are the issues you must take up. Mama should not be struggling with getting the certificate for the hospice. The, the, she should be going the up and downs with one of the public representatives who has just voluntarily said, I'm going to be part of this journey of this hospice. I'm going to make sure that I help this woman who has volunteered her services until she achieved what she wants to achieve. The party revamped the center that houses 130 people. The hospice also received a financial boost with a donation of 100,000 rand. I'm so happy because today they will know that there is old age home here and they have to come and take care of them. Meanwhile, the focus remains on next year's elections. 2024 is our 1994. That's what the youth of South Africa should say. It's a turning point where we're going to take over government and restore it into the hands of the people. We don't want this uh, blackout of a collapsed ESCOM. We need to rescue it and rescue all of state-owned enterprises. We must create jobs. We can't have a country where 50% of its workforce People who are qualified to work do not have work. The EFF will continue with its anniversary celebrations in other parts of the country. Katle Khonyoni, SABC News, Aramude in Limpopo.